Brittany Griner is back in the news. Just a quick refresh on who this person is. She was a nobody until she got caught smuggling drugs into Russia. A WNBA player who is apparently hopelessly addicted to weed, hash, vapes, whatever she had in her bag. When the Russian officials found the drugs, she was arrested and had her day in court. She was found guilty, mostly because she had drugs. She was caught with the drugs, and she clearly tried to bring illegal drugs into a country that forbids this. I think she got eight years in a Russian prison or something like that. I don't care enough to remember the exact details, but this is what border control looks like. Some countries get kind of mad when foreigners enter the country and then immediately break the laws. I know, weird, right? Biden and many Twitter liberals were super sad that their precious sports ball player got arrested. They begged Biden to get her out and were willing to trade even an international arms dealer and a terrorist for this one guy. Greiner is a big player in the WNBA, and if he can't play, it could cost the WNBA hundreds of dollars in lost ticket sales. The last update is that Greiner was transferred to a gulag. Actually, it's being referred to as a penal colony, but it's rough. It's like a work camp in Siberia. This is definitely worse than that summer camp that Ghislaine Maxwell is enjoying in the U.S., and all she did was traffic children for... Let's just say the worst possible thing ever that can happen to a child. I gotta say, I'm with Russia on this one. They know how to treat a convicted criminal. Every minute that Brittany Griner must endure wrongful detention in Russia is a minute too long, cringe Jean-Pierre said. Just like a Democrat, always protecting the criminal. These black lesbians have got to protect each other, I guess. I bet Putin is laughing. Here's an example of being bad at chess. If you tell the whole world that Brittany Griner is the most important person to USA, Russia has no reason to let him go. It's now a very strong bargaining chip. They can ask for whatever they want. Biden will most likely give it up. Because this one criminal is super important to the entire USA, and we need her back immediately at any cost. I mean, the WNBA is losing a fortune, $10 at a time. As you may have surmised, I don't care if she rots in Russian prison forever, or she comes back home tomorrow. It won't affect me. But it certainly shows you what our country values, doesn't it? And just in case you forgot, Greiner is also one of those precious athletes who refuse to stand for the national anthem she must be so happy because I don't think they play the anthem in Russian prisons. She should be thanking her lucky stars she didn't try this shit in Singapore. They have the death penalty for drugs. You got any opinions on this? I want to hear them. What would you be willing to trade to bring her back to the USA? When you're done with that, do that like and subscribe thing. I got another video coming later, so I'll see you soon.